In my role as a veterinarian, I work on many different types of projects related to all kinds of animal health. So in this case, the polar bear project, uh, we work with scientists at the USGS, particularly Todd Atwood and his polar bear team, looking at health issues of the polar bear in Alaska. This opportunity to work with the USGS polar bear program is a chance to help provide some insight into what role infectious disease may currently be playing in the population and if this has a potential to change at all with any types of environmental change such as climate change, which is really the most pressing issue of the polar bear. The reality is, is infectious disease right now has not really been that significant for polar bears that we know, but the question is really what's going to happen in the future. And perhaps even more important is what happens when you get a little bit of infectious disease, a little bit of environmental contamination or pollution, because that's a huge issue in the north, and you superimpose that all on decreased access to food availability and interactions with humans. So it's really not that there's one particular problem that the polar bear faces, it's that there's basically the setup for a perfect storm in that all of these negative or these, these risk factors could potentially increase over time and how, how do they interact together or what, what happens when you have all these things come together, that's really the issue. The work continues even when you get samples back to the lab. So making sure that your tests are valid and your results are meaningful and that you're interpreting them correctly is as important in some ways as getting the sample in the first place. Because all that risk, expense, and time that goes into collecting a sample, you really wanna make sure that the results you put out at the end are extremely meaningful.